definitely learned a lot this year. Um, exactly, it's been quite a year. I think at the end of the day, I'm, I'm glad to be with a great group of guys, and uh, I've learned so much throughout this whole year and this whole process that it, it's, it's been an honor. What, uh, what did you take away just from, from guys like Kobe and Nash and Kyle being, being around them the whole season? What, what stands out the most? I think their work ethic, you know. You take guys like Kobe, and he's a guy, and everyone's heard the myth, like, okay, he comes in in the middle of the night. That's really what he does, you know. Uh, he wants to get better all the time, and uh, you take that, and you you see Nash. He's always one of the first guys to come in on the uh on the floor and get shots up. So I definitely, I've learned a lot from all those guys. As a big man, how about practicing against Dwight Howard and Kyle Gasol? Um, again, that was an honor. I, I'm super, super ecstatic about playing against Dwight and I'm, I'm hoping he's going to be able to come back and play with us. And that's the, that's the goal for us to win a championship. So. Um, it's been a great honor to play with those guys, and Powell's a tremendous player and teammate, and I've learned a lot from him. Who's harder to guard? The, you know, it depends on what kind of day you feel like. You know, if I feel like being hit, then uh, I'll take I'll take Powell because then he won't hit as hard. But if I feel like you know, <laughs> if I feel like you know, I don't feel like being hit, then Dwight's tougher to play against. What about you? Post move wise. Uh, I, different. Yeah, it's different. You know, they're different, but uh, definitely, it depends on what kind of day you feel like. When you pal so much, uh, he's so fundamental that he's a, he's tough. He's really tough. He's one of the best big men, skilled big men out there, and uh, you just have to uh, appreciate what he he brings to the table. What, what do you have in mind for the summer as far as your workout routine? Where are you gonna be to work out? You'll be in beautiful LA, man. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out here. Uh, get a good workout in every day and then hit the beach afterwards, you know. Uh, definitely I'm going to enjoy being uh, spending my time in L.A. and working out and trying to get better, and I think that's my focus is to get better. And um, I, I have a lot of goals in mind, and uh, I think I can achieve those goals, and I can't tell you guys what I'm going to do. Give us one or two. No, because then, I'm going to. I learned one thing from Meta. You know, he can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to keep that, and um, I'll show you guys next season. What feedback did Mitch give as far as your future? Uh, Mitch gave me great feedback. You know, he wants me to get better, and uh, I, he feels like I can. I can do a lot in this league, but I, I just need to improve. And uh, I agree with him, and I know that I got sky is the limit for me. I just need to just focus on myself and get better. Do you take any pride in being the 60th pick and, and making the team and, and you know, hopefully continuing to be in the league? Uh, you know, I think now it's, it's starting to become a trend being the 60th pick, but... <laughs> I don't know. We'll see after this pick. Um, but I, I think, again, I, I don't really take it as anything. They gave me an opportunity, and I tried to seize it, and that's all that matters. Zach, out of all the rookie duties that you've had to uh, <laughs> undergo this year, what is the one that you're most looking forward to not having? Ooh. Um, <laughs> oh. There's a couple, but uh, no, 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 I can't do that. Uh, probably, I would probably say having to drop bags off in the morning on the road. That was terrible just because I didn't want to. I could have had a good extra hour and a half to sleep, but I had to be up early and drop people's bags off. And when it was on other people's floors and the floors were all different, then it really made it difficult because I had to use my key for the elevator, and that was rough. <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, you're steal a baggage cart? Oh, I had to, man. <laughs> Your cheering on the bench was obviously pretty impressive. You took after Roman Turi off a little bit from Gonzaga, but how did you develop some of those techniques? Uh, the techniques, you know, you got to thank Phil Handy. Um, he's a great guy. He motivated me. and uh, I definitely took the moves from Roni, but not his looks. I love Roni to death, but I definitely did not take his looks, so that's for sure. Um, <laughs> 
uh, definitely uh, give credit to all the people around me and uh, my family just give me the attitude that I have and so I just really don't think of it as anything but just want to see my teammates succeed and be successful.